This entire month of Black History, we are highlighting various newsmakers in Chicago. Today, we want to introduce you to a historic music teacher and his choir of students. Our Jamaica Potter joins us today for a closer look at the music man and his 20 years on the job. Jamaica. Yes, today we are going to meet Mr. Henry, and he is one of the co-founders of an After School Matters program. He is responsible for introducing thousands of high schoolers to music education, and some go on to become musicians, others choose a different path. But Mr. Henry makes sure that they all leave with the same standards of excellence. Right now, you're hearing the voices of the HHW School of the Performing Arts. One of those H's stands for Mr. Daniel Henry. Along with two of his colleagues, Mr. Henry had a passion for teaching vocals, but we get along. nowhere to do it. So they decided to create their own school, just one without walls. We didn't have the resources to build our own building. And so we said, we'll teach in other people's walls. And so the walls that we've landed in have been right here at After School Matters. 24 years and thousands of students later. So this has been a marriage, lasting longer than some marriages. And Mr. Henry says they don't plan on breaking it off anytime soon. I will retire when my body says it is time to slip the surly bonds of earth. That's when I will retire. Students can come audition to study with HHW as soon as they graduate from middle school. We have students from all over the city, and when they come together from different backgrounds, different neighborhoods, there's a natural organic uh, synergy that happens, and they get excited about the arts. So, do we have, we got a tenor? I've yes. been here since I was 14 years old. And, and I'm about to turn 18 this year. Like many students, Sierra hasn't stopped singing with Mr. Henry since she started. I love watching an artist emerge from a student after a year or two of study. Everybody say, ah, oh, and, ah. Oh. Oh. Can you stretch And in the way Mr. Henry loves his students. Oh, I love Mr. Henry. Not only that he's funny, but he, he just, he's so full of experiences and he's so wise and he knows everything. While it is a vocal class, they go far beyond the performing arts. I've tried to communicate to them the need to, to pursue excellence in whatever you do, but to see them emerge and realize that their future is in their own hands. You start from the beginning sure. and just put everything in there. No one wants a surgeon that doesn't know how to cut properly. No one wants a dentist that can't fill a tooth properly. And no one wants a singer that sings out of tune all the time. In terms of our tuning, do we sing sharp all the time or flat a lot? Their alumni end up everywhere, doing everything from singing to surgery. I often say, do what you want to do. I'm not trying to make an opera singer out of you. Though opera is most definitely a part of the curriculum, the whole education is based in exploration. In the summertime. And that's what we're here for. It's a, a collaborative effort to simply explore things that are difficult to do on the individual level. You're a group. So when you see all of that come to, to life, um, you don't ever want to retire. Oh, I love Mr. Henry so much. The HHW School for the Performing Arts has sung internationally in front of esteemed guests and politicians, and they've produced dozens of young people who have grown up to become music teachers themselves. I can see why you're smitten. <laughs> I just, isn't he just the best? Nah, he seems like an absolute <laughs> delight, and I uh, love a man who is so passionate that no plans to retire. Jamaica, thank you. Thank